What's up everyone, it's Lens Addict here and today I'm going to show you how to do a battery health test on your Tesla Model 3. So to do the battery health test there are a few prerequisites. So one of them is that you need a AC charger that's capable of more than 6 kilowatts. Uh, you also need to be able to sit on that charger for you know 5-10 hours minimum. Uh, you also need to be comfortable putting your car in service mode where sentry mode isn't active um, and you also need to let the car run flat it's going to make a lot of noise uh, and you need to enter service mode so i'll show you how to do all of that uh, so let's get started on the car so we got the car here and we'll go to software and then we'll go into service mode and to do that, you enter the word service in this menu here and you press enter. And now we're in service mode. So from here, you go to high voltage, high voltage system, and then you'll see the battery and you'll tap on health test. So my car's already really flat, so it should be able to do the health test already. And now we're gonna do a gateway unlock. So you put your foot on the brake and indicate, and that will do a gateway unlock. So let's do that. So now the gateway's unlocked and we'll tap on health test. So it'll tell us the prerequisites here. Uh, it'll take up to 24 hours. In my experience, it can actually take 24 hours. So you have to be willing to leave your car alone. And also it's gonna make a lot of noise. So, you know, if the fans running at max speed is gonna annoy your neighbors, maybe this might be something you have to do somewhere else. Um, yeah, and then AC charge station. So we've met all these prerequisites. We've got a charger just behind me here. And we're plugged in. So you have to actually have the car already plugged in uh, when you run the test. And make sure the car is still charging because I've actually done this before and made a mistake. And what I did was, is I went in here and I went charging and I went stop charging. Then I ran the health test. And what happened was, is that it failed the health test because it uh, needs to, it measures how much it charges into the battery, I guess, to figure out the health. So we'll go run. And yep, test starting. So you've noticed that the charging stopped. And it says test starting. So what usually happens is if the car is above 10%, it runs it down to about 10% by running the motor in the heater state and running the fan at max to get rid of the, it basically turns the battery um, electrons into heat. But in this case, we're really low percentage already, so it should pass just fine, should be able to do the test. So now what you have to do is walk away. So walk away from your car, um, make sure it stays in service mode and just leave it. And eventually it'll charge up to 100%. Uh, that's one other thing that you must do is you must set your um, charge limit to 100% for this health test to work. So under charging, make sure that your um, charge limit is at 100% here. And you'll notice if the health test is running that the start charging won't work even if it, the car's plugged in. So we got the health test started and we're just going to let the Tesla run flat. So keep in mind it's in service mode. So walk away lock might not be working. So it might make sense for you to use the key card on the door and lock the car that way. Make sure that it's locked because in service mode, there's no alarm. There's no sentry, nothing. So your car's very vulnerable, especially if it's out in the public. But yeah, going to let it run. And what we'll do, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll check the battery health. So yeah, gonna leave the car here overnight, let it do its health test and we'll come back. So let's do that. If to you guys, it's gonna appear just like this and we're gonna be at the car tomorrow. So the um, battery health test just finished. So let's have a look uh, what it reports. So there we go, we got a battery health percentage. It all worked. And yeah. So that's the end of the testing. So to sum up the battery testing, um, the what actually happened was is that the car uh, sat and left itself idle. Uh, and I think it does that to check the battery. And it ran it down to about three, 
Then it charged back up. It took about five and a half hours to charge from three to percent to full on an 11 kilowatt charger. And then it sat at full and waited a bit and then it finally finished the calibration. So that was what happened. So I think some tips for this calibration would be um, don't open the Tesla app and check leave the car don't open the app don't touch the car don't do anything because it seems like if you disturb it it takes longer to do the test um so yeah it seems i think that's what it does it lets it like kind of wants to read the battery but if the car is awake it can't read it if that makes sense so yeah that's my experience and i think 93 battery health seems too low to me because on a full charge this car gets like the rated range shows around 425 to 421 and brand new it showed around 440 to 435 so that doesn't seem like a um 7 drop to me so i'm not sure why it's rating at 93 percent. i think it's got more but i don't know it doesn't matter it i'm happy with the car still but yeah that's how the bash is degraded and yeah that's the end of our service mode testing let me know in the comments if you have any questions around doing service mode and let me know how you go if you end up doing it on your car. I'll see you all in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Lens Addict out.